Actors Repertory Theater of Simi Valley. And it started out as a small program started by Jan Glassband because her daughters were not receiving uh, arts education in the schools. And um, her answer to that was to start her own program. And now it's grown into a program that served hundreds and hundreds of children. When I got married and moved to Simi Valley in 1981 and I, we started to raise a family, I, I realized that there was very little here in the way of the performing arts training for kids or musical programs, theater programs. In fact, there was nothing. Some of these kids were just musically gifted beyond what you could imagine. And I, I thought, I really would like to do something special with these kids. So in 1994, 95, I decided that I would do a um, full production with a double cast of kids of You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, which is a very challenging piece of musical theater. We cast 14 kids between the ages of 11th and 13 years old in this production. Uh, and the ensuing events <laughs> that um, occurred as a result of doing this production of You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown were just something that I could never have imagined would happen. I started with a group uh, when I was a child, much, uh, very, very similar to ARTS. It was the Brooklyn Catholic Charities. And their goal was to take kids and young adults who were interested in the arts and pair them with professionals and put on productions. And it was a great way to get professional training by emulating and working side by side with actual professionals in the industry. The state of the arts in Simi Valley. Um, I think that it's an exciting, thriving part of our community. Uh, when I think about the state of the arts in Simi Valley, I think that there's always um, a desire for live theater and the arts in general, not just the performing arts. Um, but I think that there's also probably a challenge in the area of funding. Um, which I don't know is necessarily unique to Simi Valley, but something that probably all communities struggle with, especially in the current economic times that we're in. Elementary school plays and stuff like that, but nothing like that satisfied the the way I wanted to act. Like nothing professional. I wanted something a little more professional. I mean, it's one of the best feelings that I've that I have. I feel like that's where I belong, and that's like my home. In arts education, it is the way a child will learn to express himself most fully. It is a way for a child to have their voice heard. It is a way for a child to find themselves, to find out who they are inside, what kind of a person they are, and to, to find a, a tremendous amount of self-esteem by knowing who they are. Their imagination is something that they were born with and that's something they will always have to be able to use. And using that imagination and creativity will help them in every area of their lives. It helps them to think. It helps them to have confidence in their ability to think and to create. Arts and Jan Glassband always was focused on the promotion of children, of arts and education, education of the arts for children, and performances of children. The part arts plays in education, educating children, and the parts it plays in their life is like many fold. The theater demands you be on time. It demands you, you have to be drug free. It demands certain things of you that if you want to do it, you have to do this. It's not somebody telling you you have to do something. And that element alone, that dynamic alone, has uh, straightened more kids out. As soon as they are educated to the point where they got a light board in their hand and push that button and watch the whole theater transformed, they begin. Uh, it, they change their lives around. And many lives have been changed right in this building, young people. And so I, I became a lighting tech, and now I, did, I, am, I work as a lighting designer. 
In fact, Jackson was a very shy kid. Um, I don't want to call him a hermit. <laughs> it's my child I'm talking about here, but he wasn't the kind to call all of his friends and say, hey, let's get together, let's do this. He would be perfectly fine sitting in his room playing on the computer. Lighting design is such an artistic thing because you have to take what, what's in the script and what's in the show and you have to reflect that to the audience but without having them notice the lighting. Well, my husband and I kind of saw a little change in him that he was excited to get out and be with people. <laughs> that was huge. <laughs> I think that there's definitely a need for students who uh, don't want to necessarily spend all of their time involved in athletics, um, who don't want to spend their time um, in a more passive way. This is something that they can do in an active way that's not currently being offered. You know, the American for the Arts organization did some great studies recently to pinpoint the actual educational value of kids who are highly active in the arts and they concentrated on 8th grade to 10th graders. And what they found was that 80% of the kids in 8th grade who were highly active in the arts were averaging A and B averages in their grades, both in English and in math, whereas less than 64% of kids who were low art impact children getting the same scores. And when they followed those kids over the next two years, the kids who were highly active in the arts had a dropout rate of only 1.4%, whereas the kids who were uh, not involved in the arts had a four times greater percentage of dropouts. We had her children for a program and they were phenomenal. I mean, she taught them uh, stage presence. She taught them uh, working together creative work is good for children because they learn to work with other people. They learn to listen to the pe per people that are directing them. And uh, we all, if we want to succeed in life, it's best if we listen as well as talk. So you never know where talent lies. And you have to encourage everybody to try it because they don't know if they have it if they never try. And once they try and succeed, there's no stopping them. So I came and auditioned and I was so nervous and, and she ended up casting me and I was really young. I was a part of every single show that this theater put on from 10 years old to 18 years old of my life, eight years. The really interesting part of my story comes when I was 13. Um, I was diagnosed with cancer. I was in Annie Get Your Gun at the time. The West Side Story was when I started my chemo and radiation. And uh, I would go on Fridays to get treatment, eight hours of treatment, and then I'd come to the theater that night and perform in West Side Story as one of the sharks. The, the doctors told me that I was crazy because cancer treatment, chemo and radiation, as people who have dealt with it, is pretty intense and it doesn't make you feel good at all. In many ways, I think that this theater and that show really saved my life. It really got my mind off things and kept me active and living for something instead of going home and being sick. The arts contributes to a young person's life through their own self-esteem, finding their own creativity, finding their own personhood, and being able to work ensemble with other people so their socialization skills are increased. Uh, but it begins there. 